Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show how to change the language on the infotainment head unit but also in the instrument cluster with the use of the Rostec VCDS. Okay, for the infotainment head unit the VCDS is not needed. You would simply go here to setup, choose language, pick one of the two languages that are in the head unit. Now the head unit can only hold two languages at any given time. So if you were to say you'd want to replace French with Italian, if I wanted to do that, I would have to press the replace button and have the Italian CD to insert to change the language as it can only hold two languages at any given time. But for now, for to show it, I'm gonna hit language for French. You can see I already changed it to French. Okay, go back, here's my HVAC in French, audio, the uh, map, right there, instructions are in French, okay, everything will go to French, All right, go back to setup, I'm going to change it back to English, oh, before I do, let me show you, in the instrument cluster, because we're changing the head unit's language, it'll change in the instrument cluster, the navigation, the telephone, and the volume, those will change to French. Okay, I'll put them back to English. Place, and you'll see they went back to English. The volume is back. Okay. So now, what I'm going to do is show you how to change the instrument cluster. So let's go to select. We're gonna go to number 17. Wait for it to load, show you the item number up top here. All right, now what I'm gonna show you also is the coding of the instrument cluster, because it'll show you, this balloon will pop up, showing you what these numbers right here stand for. All right, brake pad warning, seat belt, uh, low washer fluid, radio navigation system installed, and then which country. But we're not working with that right now. That does not change the language of the instrument cluster display. So we'll go here to adaption. Okay, we're going to go up top here. We're going to pick here. We'll pick language. All right, you can see it's on number two for me for English. Let's see, English pops up. All right, so I'm going to change it to number four. I'm going to hit my keypad. I'm going to backspace one. No, actually, I have to delete. All right, I'm going to put number four in there. Sorry, I'm doing this with my two hands here with the camera and this. All right, so number four. All right, and close out my keypad. I'm going to say test it. Okay. Now you can see the instrument uh, cluster has changed its language to Italian. All right. You go to menu. All right. Navigation is back to English because it's with the infotainment head unit. So it's a telephone. But you'll see that. Italian. Italian. The consumer. The consumption. Italian. Okay. So if I went here and I said, okay, let me leave it on navigation, right? And I go back to the head unit here and I say French. You can see right here the navigation changes. So they're two separate things, all right? So on the uh, instrument cluster, I have now tested it. I will save. They'll ask me if I want to save. I want to say yes. Then it's all done. Go back. We're out of there. Close the unit. And there we are. Okay. So, let's go through the menu again to show you. Okay. I'm going to put the language back on the head unit. The English, there we go. English back. Now my navigation will be back in English. But the rest of all the other options will be in Italian. So just remember, it's two separate things. Okay. Volume, navigation, and telephone are part of changing the language in here. And the other items are part of changing the language with the Rostec VCDS. Take care. Hope this was helpful.